What's up, everybody? This is the Fourth of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Psyche in Capricorn or Psyche in the 10th house in the natal birth chart. So let's jump into this right now. What is Psyche? Psyche has to deal with your mind, your thought process that is coming over from a past life. Okay, so what the individual is more inclined to to thinking and how they are viewing things okay so let's jump into this this soul okay psyche and capricorn psyche in the 10th house this soul craves sexual passion deepness and craving caring but falls for the mature confident and the aloof type of person Okay, their energy is serious, stable, sometimes unwelcoming, and the high standards are seen here. They learn to open up and become soft in love. They will have a high association when it comes to power couples. Um, they will fall into a relationship as a trophy wife or a trophy husband. Okay, so they can be a trophy wife. Or a trophy husband but they can also get involved with somebody that is considered a trophy see what I'm saying it goes both ways it goes both ways and as a matter of fact I do know people that have this placement okay my nephew he has this placement and also my husband he has psyche and Capricorn both of them have psyche and Capricorn so that's interesting to know <laughs> so these people have an a active kind of mind. Their mind is always um, constantly moving, constantly going, brilliant ideas. Um, people that can um, be very much strategic and they know how to strategize, um, building wealth, okay? They love to have fun and in many possible ways win on something or get a prize. So Psyche and Capricorn unveils glorious facts about a person, worldly desires, especially their relationships and romantic partners. So these men and women are considered as being cold, okay, detached, closed off. So they can be viewed as being cold as ice. People with their Psyche and Capricorn find it hard to show robust, and soft emotions as they are serious most of the time. They don't offer much of how things made them feel, happy, sad, angry, or even love. Their hearts are unquestionable, okay, and restrained. They will not be able to knock their shield down. Okay, so it will be kind of hard to um, get close to these people okay on that deep intimate level it will be hard to probably get close to these people if you are not their homies or their road dogs okay um but for the most part um they are fun people fun um wanting to have a good time wanting to enjoy life they are like that but they are serious as hell about their views and how they're viewing the world or whatever it is that they feel like they need to get done they're serious about that um they're about being self-made and self-sufficient and not having to depend and rely on motherfuckers for shit okay so these individuals master being robust that nothing seems to make them feel sad or pain all their life they are focused on one thing and one thing only, their goals. They are known to be reserved, but they love to win in life. So these people are considered to be winners, okay? Um, they will fight to the death to succeed in life, to accomplish a goal, okay? Extremely ambitious men, women, individuals, people, whatever you call it today. Okay, so they work and learn and they train immensely for something they gen genuinely want to get. Their eyes are always on the prize. As a result of this, they win a reward to attain their goals. They radiate significant energy, 
that shouts stability, stableness, and high standards. These people set the bar up very high for themselves, and they make sure that they reach them. Okay, so these people are about surpassing any kind of obstacles that stand in their way. Okay, they are more about being optimistic. Okay, all that negative shit needs to like leave their head if it does come move forward because they're about perseverance these women and men know the value of hard work and time they don't settle for less psyche and capricorn placement brings out natural leaders diplomats and mathematicians and people the ability to ward off questions and make highly intellectual arguments make them highly respected individuals in a group or a company so they can be um, seen as a major asset to any business corporation um, any field that they're in they could be seen as the one to go to the one to count on this placement indicates reaching your goals and saving a lot of money so they're great at saving money accumulating money building the wealth getting the bread getting the paper getting their dollars up they about that shit psyche and capricorn Women and men are always on the lookout for sexy and rich partners. They must look for someone they can treat as an equal. They may crave sexual passion, deep, profound conversations, but nothing beats a caring, mature, and confident partner. They can look for that perfect trophy wife or husband, or they can work hard on themselves to be that trophy wife or husband. So Psyche and Capricorn women, this is going to be for the Psyche and Capricorn woman specifically. She loves to be acknowledged as the trophy wife since she worked hard to be that. With her icy personality, no man or woman can quickly melt her heart and catch her attention. But once the right one has come her way, she will reveal her true loving self. So you have to prove your worth to her. And she has to feel like you are worth her time. That you're worthy of her love. Worthy of her time. So if you are lucky enough to get chosen by her, she will be the most powerful and passionate lover you could ever have in your entire damn life. God damn. <laughs> she will show you her true beauty, elegance, and will make you feel how you deserve to be loved. She specializes in horning in her intuition, judgment, and sexual abilities. Okay, so this woman is going to be like a bit of a freak. Know how to put it down in the bedroom. Okay, have you coming back for more. You see what I'm saying? She is excellent at manipulating people to get whatever she wants and quickly make someone fall in love with her. Okay, so most of her partners she gets are going to be those that are um, pretty much hard to pin down, hard to get a hold of. Those will be her partners, the ones that maybe somebody else really tried to get and she the one that got them or she the one that got her, whatever the case may be. <laughs> she about that shit, that life. So they are good at getting a partner effortlessly. Okay, that's about the Psyche and Capricorn woman. So the Psyche and Capricorn man, once he finds the one that's for him, he will be no denying, it will be no denying with him that he will be the best fit for her or for him. He is committed, faithful, and he will be the most intense romantic lover. Okay. This is the ultimate lifetime partner package deal, okay? So anybody that is dealing with a Psyche and Capricorn man, Psyche and um, the 10th house man, okay, these people, if you get them to yourself, they are the lifetime partnership deal, okay? It's their fucking whole package deal. I know, because my husband is Psyche and Capricorn. Package deal, okay? So... He is highly and extremely motivated by his woman. 
he will build a beautiful and prosperous life with this partner especially if she also has her plans laid out and ready for a better life he will never settle down with partners who rely on other people's success or latch on to him okay so just to benefit for their selves or to establish their selves in their lives no he doesn't want somebody like that this man wants somebody that has their own shit their own ideas their own plans their own vision okay their own career all right and he can be very much motivated by her okay she can make him want to do more in the relationship See what I'm saying? So he will see his queen as his equal, not a competition or dependent. If you are married to a Psyche and Capricorn man, you will never compete for who is better. Okay, when it comes to being a provider, he will be very much a great provider in your life. Um, and his whole goal is to win. Okay, making sure things is done the right way. He wants to celebrate the two of you for being in a unbreakable power couple. Being an unstoppable, unshakable, unbreakable power couple. That's the shit he about. So both Psyche and Capricorn men and women are tough to mess with. But they are the total package when it comes to love and relationships. Being with them can be a blessing and you can feel like you're in bliss. So I'm going to leave this one as no for now. And in future videos to come, I'll go more into depth into Psyche and Capricorn, Psyche in the 10th house. If anybody needs a reading, okay, be sure to hit me up at 516-738-6042. Or you can email me at Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening at gmail.com. If anybody needs any work done to their home, swimming pool, or business, if you need flower pots, if you need freshly made soil for your garden, for vegetables and fruits to grow, okay, my husband got you, and you can hit me up, okay, and you can converse with him and discuss what you need to discuss with him with the pricing for that, okay. Whew, it's hot out here today. So, anybody need a caterer, be sure to hit me up. I am the chef goddess also. So, this has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace, and blessings to you all. And I will see you in the next one.